Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video. I'm Jake from Peyton V and their friend, and today, or tonight, we're playing Identity V. So if you didn't watch the last video, this is a person who is standing in front of me um, wanted to invite me to their room. <laughs> Man, what is this person doing to me? I'm already being violated over here. What the heck? I don't know if I should tell this person that, like, they're on YouTube right now. Because I feel like if I do, they're either going to flip out and, like, kick me from the room. Or they're going to flip out and start, like, railing me or something. Which... <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't really be too pleased with that. <laughs> oh yeah, and in the time between the two minutes of um, this video and the previous video, um, I also rolled the dice that was here. There was like eight dice, so I rolled it. Because if you also watched the last video, then you would also know that I um I need to recuperate clues because um I spent them on getting a room, but now I need clues to get a hunter because currently I have no hunter except for like the dumb default ones. But, um, those ones suck, and also, I don't know how to play them, so, yeah. I don't know what we're waiting for, literally. Like, why is the estimated wait time, like, two minutes here? Jeez. I don't know, that might just be the wait, the just normal wait time for rank, though, honestly. Or... Rank? I wish. No, I mean for quick matches. Because <laughs> also it is currently 3.28 in the morning. Because last video was half an hour long. And I'm sure this one is probably going to take a long time if we're having to sit here and wait forever for shit. <laughs> I can't really look at this. I'm just standing awkwardly beside this person. Like, really? I mean, I feel like that's what mostly happens whenever you're standing around waiting for a match. <laughs> you just kind of stand there. And just... Man, I don't even know. Like, half the time you just sit there waiting. Because literally one time, me and one of my friends sat for like an hour waiting for... The duo hunters. <laughs> like, in the hunter faction, of course. <laughs> yeah, we waited an hour, and you see, like... Like, um, the story has bad ending. Because uh, we did not get to do the duo hunters, because, you see, it actually closed. Since it's only open for like limited amount of time every day yeah it closed up so yeah we did not get the play and i'm not very sure we ever will because she was like not happy about that at all and i mean like we wasn't like sitting in a vc or like having a sleepover or anything like doing anything actually fun while playing identity v no, like, we was literally, like, in, like, Discord messaging, like, just messaging each other, like, complaining about it every ten minutes. Like, seriously. Like, I don't even know what people do while they're waiting on matches. Because... I don't know what I do either. Half the time I just sit there and like stare at the screen or like I start contemplating why I'm at this point in my life where I'm having to sit here waiting for a match 
on a stupid PC game. Like, literally. Also, is this person rich or something? I'm just now noticing that. Like, literally, what is going on back there, bro? I don't even want to walk in there. I'd feel too weird walking in there, like, without this person, like, leading me in there. I don't know. That might just be a me thing, but I don't really like walking through people's houses much. Because it feels way too awkward. Like, I'd say the only person's house who I felt somewhat comfortable walking through, like, without <laughs> being on a leash, or I mean being leaded everywhere, was um, my exes. But, like, man, I'd say other than her, like, I'm awkward as shit at other people's houses. Also, I'm talking about IRL houses, not, like, Identity V houses, like, oh my gosh, no. Like, I don't know, actually, I've only been over at, I'd say a couple people's houses. You see, whenever I was in elementary school, I didn't actually not have any friends like that. Who were actually close enough to invite me over for like playdates or sleepovers. I had one person who I invited over for a playdate. But like they was like it was just oh my goodness. Like their behavior was devilish. <laughs> like they were so damn mean. Like I don't even know why. Like Early, I think that person was, like, in ele elementary school. They was in, like, middle school, though, and I was in elementary. Which, before you question that, it's because it was someone from church. Which, yeah, I know, guys, literally. Like, makes sense, but... I don't know, I'd say first time that I went over to someone's house was probably, like, sixth grade. And, oh my gosh, like... Actually, I don't have that many horror stories from their house. Because <laughs> I'd say their house was probably the most sane. Well, that was because this person has, like, two parents and, like, two siblings all that are in the house. And I only have my mom in my house. <laughs> So, obviously, less supervision meant that people think that they can just do whatever the hell they want at my house. But, like, this person's house, though, I'd say generally it was pretty under control. Because if we got too rambunctious, then one of the siblings would threaten Tattletail. So, <laughs> yeah. Like... Let me think here. The only bad thing that happened was that, like, this person's dog, like, tried to bite me. Which, the dog did not bite me. I think if the dog did bite me, that would have, like, probably turned out really bad for the dog. Because I probably would have kicked it, honestly, if it did. But, no, it did not kick <laughs> did not kick me. Well, no, the dog did not kick me. But it didn't bite me, though. It bit my purse. Which, in all honesty, I actually don't remember why I was carrying a purse. It, it was a very specific purse, too. It was one that my grandma gave me. Like, not a fancy purse, though. It was like a purse, you know, that, like, was for, um, kids. That are, like, playing house. So it wasn't anything fancy. But, like, I was still kind of mad at the dog, though. Because, like, I liked the purse, you know? And I had stuff in there, too. Like, come on. I was using it. And that dog just decides, like, Oh, I'm gonna go bite Jake just because I feel like it. I don't even know what I did to the dog. Like, literally, all I did was I went to the bathroom, and then whenever I get out, like, dog was literally chasing me in the living room, and then it, like, bit my purse, 
And I was on the, like, I jumped onto the couch, like, no shit. I literally jumped onto the couch, like, to the top of the couch. And I was, like, I was screaming. I was crying, like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is wild. <laughs> I think this. I think my, um, the friends, the fr my friends, parents. My ex friends, parents like woke up and it, or no, way, not their parents. I think it was only their dad who like actually woke up to go check on us. Like, obviously, because like screaming and crying in the middle of the night while there's a sleepover, like, that's probably not a good sign. But yeah, and the, and the friend was like, Oh, that dog, it's Big J. Ooh, like. Oh my gosh. Like. Okay, like, no, like. Man, I got plenty of horror stories from my house. Because as I said a couple minutes ago, like, my house was just the place where people thought that they could just do whatever the fuck they wanted and, like, not get away. Or not get away? Nah, like, get away with it. Because, I mean, I think my mom only ever sent somebody home once or something, but that was my fault, though. Well, it's partially my fault. Like, yeah, there was a lot of instances. I think there was multiple times where, like, I got the shit beat out of me. Actually, by different people. It's, now that I think about it, it's really weird. That, like, I got the crap beat out of me. Like, in my own house, by visitors. But, yeah, whenever I'd go over to their house, like, they was always on their best behavior. Because my ex-girlfriend... I'm sorry, I don't want to shit talk you, but, like... You know, like, you was also somewhat guilty of the mentality of... Being able to do whatever you wanted at my house. But then at your house, we couldn't. Which, okay, it was... It was her mom's fault, though. So, it wasn't, like, really my fault. Um... Okay, hold on. Story time pause. If you guys wasn't looking at the screen... What happened was that the match was made and um, the person here who like friended me with the like meow and stuff like the the S tier Joseph that's sitting beside me here like did not press ready and now they're just doing nothing like what is this person like AFK or something like literally what Oh my gosh, like, I'm sorry, but I don't do that because, you know, like, you get the penalty on your morality points. So let me check here. Can you see, like, yeah, bro, how does this person got, like, 100 morality points? Like, bruh, I'm pretty sure whenever you do that, it takes away five, I think. Which I know that, because back whenever I was first starting playing Identity V, like, I would accidentally make the mistake of, like, you know, clicking on the match, and then, like, not looking at my laptop, and then whenever I'd get back, you know, I'd have, like, four damn morality points knocked off, like, oh my gosh. Uh, back to story time, though, like, it wasn't her fault or anything, though, but, like, you know, I don't know. I just don't like the fact that, like, at my house, though, like, let me think here. I got, like, actually, no, I'm not, I'm not going to say some of this stuff, because some of this stuff isn't even allowed on YouTube, but, like, bro, let, let's get into, like, funny stories, okay? Like, Stories from, like, middle school, because I can laugh at myself from middle school. 
but I can't laugh at myself from like freshman year of high school because I'm in 11th grade. So that technically means I'm still in high school. So I can't do that. <laughs> and also that stuff wasn't really very funny. So, okay, back into old friend who um, was in like, I think this was sixth or yeah, it was sixth grade whenever this was happening. It might, actually, correction, it might have been fifth, possibly. I, I can't really remember, guys. I'm gonna be honest, it's been way too long ago, and I got too many damn memory issues. But, like, okay, so one time I remember this. This person, like, sprayed me with a whole can of Febreze. Which, actually, I think that happened multiple times, like, because I don't know how they found out where we kept our Febreze. But, like, literally, they'd, like, spray it all over me, like, to the point of where my shirt would be soaking wet. <laughs> And this sounds really bad, guys, but let me explain, okay? There was this website. I actually don't remember what it's called. But it was kind of like, you know, um, all them live streaming websites. Or not websites. They're like mobile apps. You know, where people live stream. And it's just, like, them either doing, like, stupid stuff or inappropriate stuff or just, like, talking to the audience. Like, it's not anything actually happening. Like, if you guys get my gist, that's what we was on. I don't remember what it's called. But also, there's, like, a lot of those apps out there. And you see, we would go on there pretty often. Which also, we would get banned on there pretty often, too, because of some of the stuff that, like, we would do on camera. Like, I think the thing we was banned for the most was violence. <laughs> but also for being underage, because we was not 13 at the time, either. Like, yeah, we was not 13. We was, like, very... Like, I don't know, we was around, like, 10 years old whenever... We was doing this stuff. But yeah, like, she she would go, like, on camera, like, start live streaming and would just spray me with a shit ton of Febreze. And literally, I don't know why. To this day, I, gen I genuinely still don't know why. It just baffles me, like, why? And there was another time, too, where... Um, this person sprayed me with Febreze, like, for TikTok, like, for a TikTok video. And I think, like, and I think they actually sprayed it in my face or something. Like, oh my gosh, I don't even know if I still can, like, find the TikTok. I probably can't because I don't have TikTok anymore, but, like... Yeah, they literally sprayed it, like, in my face. And, yeah, it was so, like, what the fuck? <laughs> Which, speaking of that app, too, the mobile app for live streaming, there was so many crazy things that we did on there. I say we, but it was mostly, like, this person, and I was just kind of, like, their victim to it. Because what would happen was, like, they would be doing something violent to me, and then I'd just kind of take it. And people, like, watch that. Like, we didn't get, like, a crazy amount of views or anything. But, I mean, there would be, like, you know, 10, 20, 50. Like, at one point, like, 70 people was watching us. Like, yeah, like, it was, like, why? Like, why was people watching that? Like, I don't even know. Personally, I wouldn't. I would not watch, like, a bunch of 10-year-olds, like, you know, beating each other up. Like, I don't know. I just think that's way too weird. Like, I'd probably click off the video and, like, maybe report it, too, because, like, like... Man, 
I don't know, like, that's just kind of iffy. But there was another time, too, whenever this person took, like, it's not a chair, but it's like a seat. <laughs> it was like a seat that's shaped as, like, um, what's it called? A cylinder? I think that's what it's called, you know? Like, yeah, it was shaped like that. <laughs> you know, it was like a short cylinder. Okay, and... Um, I think it was hollow on the inside, but let me get back to the story here. So, yeah, what she did, though, was she took that seat and, like, literally beat me with it. Like, <laughs> like okay, like, um, they took the seat and like beat me over it specifically on my back for some reason i don't know why like okay but like was just like literally throwing it into my back like i was do i was fucking kneeling on the floor too because they asked me to and i was like turned around and stuff <laughs> So that I wasn't facing them. So I couldn't see, like, whenever they did it. <laughs> okay, but whenever they first did it, I, like, literally yelped. And th this was live-streamed! I, I don't even know why! Like, oh my gosh! <laughs> like, okay, yeah, like, I literally yelped, though. And... They did it, like, multiple times. Like, just over and over. Which also, fun fact, they did that after they sprayed me with Febreze one of the times for that live stream. So, yeah, I don't know what the hell was going on. Okay, and then, like... Let me think here. What's another, like, story time I got? Oh, yeah, I think the best... Yeah, best in quotation. Story time that I have from this person is the one time that I got chased around the house um, with this person carrying a knife, chasing me around. Yes, I got chased with a knife in my own house. Don't know why or like what? Like, dude, I literally don't know why. Seriously, like, okay, like what happened was, um, she started the live stream, and then, like, basically. Just was like, okay, Jake, you sit here in, I think we was in the computer room. Um, like, okay, you sit here in the computer room and I'm going to go to the kitchen to grab something. So I was like, oh, okay. Okay. And I don't remember. I think I, or yeah, I think I was the one holding the phone. So I was like, you know, just like doing typical live stream stuff like hi viewers and like talking to people in chat and whatnot. Okay, and then like they come back and they have a knife and start like and I don't remember how like exactly what happened. I think it was something along the lines of like, Jake, look what I did. And then I see that like they have a knife, and, like, I instantly freak the fuck out. Like, who would not, though? Like, seriously? Like, okay, and then they start, like, chasing me around with it. Like, they, they like, bolt after me, and I literally just started running. Like, seriously. And then there was, like, 1.2 also, where they caught me... And I had to literally grab their wrist so that they would not stab me. Like, 
Yeah, and you know, to this day, I seriously think that this person probably had intentions of stabbing me. Like... <laughs> I don't even know what to comment on that, now that I think about it. Because... Uh, Typically, I just don't think about anything that's happened at sleepovers before, but, like, yeah, that's probably, like, you know, top five. Um, why did I let that person into my house moments? Yeah, which, okay, important detail here, too, if you guys are wondering why my mom... Like, did not intervene on any of this, it's because most of the time... She would be in bed. Like, we would be up at, like, 1 in the morning and stuff doing this. So my mom would obviously just be in bed asleep. Like, duh. And also, too, her bedroom was on the other side of the house from the computer room. So typically what we would do is we would be in the computer room, like, doing, like, TikTok or live stream or, like, just being noisy so that my mom wouldn't, like, wake up and tell us to, like, shut the hell up or something. <laughs> okay, the drinking noises that I made was probably a little goofy. But it's raspberry, cranberry... Berry zero sugar juice. I don't know what it is, but I don't know. To me, it tastes like cough syrup. But you know, I'm not a good judger for taste because I li actually I think I've brought this up before in another video, most likely. But I li man, people think that I'm like. You know, kidding around whenever I say this, but I literally have lost the majority of my sense of smell and taste. Seriously. And, you know, I've had people in the past who, like, make fun of me for it. Or, like, you know, say that I'm, like, faking or something. Like, why would I fake that? Who would, who would want to fake? <laughs> Like, ha not having their sense of smell. Which, before you guys ask, though, no, it's not related to the... to the you-know-what virus. I actually had this long before that virus was even around. It started in, like, fourth grade or so. Um, yeah, I think it started around fourth grade, maybe-ish. Or, I don't know, it... Man, I might have, like, only noticed it by then, because honestly, throughout my life, I really, I seriously cannot remember any tastes or smells from, like, before, and I can't tell if it was, like, if it's memory issues or what. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it is, because, I mean, most people, they can remember, like, tastes and scents and stuff, and I cannot, literally, because I don't think that, like, I'm, I don't know. Man, I really don't. Which... If you guys were not looking, um, that person just went, like, offline, and, yeah, that was, that was a dud. Like, didn't even get to play anything, just sat here and did, like, story time. Like, really? Okay, guys. Well, I'll do a I'll do a quick match for the um the weekend quest here because I need another victory, and then I need to complete another match to get to the rewards, which I am low on spy glasses.
Yeah, let me see the rewards here. Yeah, I could definitely use some of that stuff. So, yeah, but I mean, honestly, I'm not very sure, but like, you know, people just like, I don't know, they have, like, I've noticed they just have really strange assumptions a lot of times about whenever I tell them that I can't, like, smell anything or taste anything. Which, most of the time, I have to tell people that I can't taste anything. Because what will happen is people will, like, offer me snacks. Or they'll ask me if I want something specific. And then whenever I say that, like, you know, I don't really, like, care what they give me. Or that I don't particularly like that or want that. Then they'll be like, oh, why? So then I just straight up tell them, like, I'm literally taste blind or, like, I'm literally nose blind. And they're like, oh, my gosh. Ooh. And then, like, absolutely just, like, they say ridiculous stuff. Like, I, man, I don't know, like, you know, I kind of feel like, especially after the virus and a lot of people losing their sense of smell like you'd think there would be like a bit more awareness and acceptance and some damn compassion but like there's not for some reason like i don't know like yeah i know i'm trying to play identity v but you know it actually kind of does tie into identity v because um, actually, I won't say it in this video. <laughs> but I have a reason for saying that. <laughs> so, um, end of story timing. Yes. Let's see what the hell is going on in this match. So... All right, we've got Lawyer, who is, I think, hiding Nyad. Bad decision. Don't go near me, Lawyer. Oh, well, okay, I don't... Was he? I'm not sure. Focus on the coding. Yes, I'm the coding. Give me a break. Okay, um, am I literally the only one decoding, though, like, actually? Okay, Nyad, don't go over here. I'm trying to do my job. I said don't go over here. Shoo. Shoo, fishy. Shoo, shoo. Eee! Ew, I'm wet now. Gross. This is nasty. Okay, well. Ew. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see. Um. Oh. Guys, I may or may not be screwed. Because I feel like, too, if that if I get downed, I'm not very sure any of these people are going to save me. Because, you see, the issue is, is that the lawyer and the antiquarian, or whatever you call that, and now cowboy. See, they already, they all have one hit. So the thing is that whenever they have one hit, they're not going to go rescue. Because, you know, then if they get hit while rescuing, then they're going to be downed. And since literally now everyone is all having one hit, that means that nobody is going to rescue. Which I'm not going to rescue because I'm trying to decode over here because clearly nobody else is decoding. I mean, seriously. Look at this, like, 
I'm sorry, but like I think what's happening is that the naiad is bugging people while they're trying to decode. So then, like, then whenever their decoding is interrupted, they're going to a different cipher to decode, which I just did, actually, but... Yeah, see, now Cowboy is paired. Um, okay, it seems like the other two people are healed up, but I'm not. <laughs> So that means I have a valid reason for not going and um, rescuing. Okay, literally somebody go rescue. Like, rescue them. I'm glad that's a quick chat. Like, please, somebody go rescue the poor cowboy. He did nothing wrong. Oh, yeah, Antiquarian, you're... You're the one being down now. How'd you manage that? What'd you do that for, bitch? Okay, I'm merely, like, I almost literally missed that calibration. Holy shit. Okay, well, I missed that calibration. So actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a big brain move here. And I'm just going to go over here to finish up my decoding. Early ease. Lawyer, why are you over here? Go do something else. Go save! You know, Lawyer got like... I don't know, I mean... I don't know if Lawyer got buffed or nerfed. I, um... Can't remember, like... I know Lawyer had some changes, though. So, like, you're telling me that with them changes... Like, you can't go and, like, rescue people. Bro, I'm not for rescuing people. I gotta go the code, man. Like, quit bugging me. And now I'm, now I'm wet. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm right beside basement. That's not good. Find the... Like, I probably look really stupid while I'm doing this, but I have a hard time finding the ciphers on this map. I don't know why, I've just never really been too good with that. But I mean, especially this, like, I don't know, it, it just like, man, I'm sorry, but like... See, there's the hunter over there, just, just doing her thing. Actually, I'm not going to bother to, like, set up the electrocution thingy for the cipher. Because, I don't know, like, can Nyad even be electrocuted? Yep, well, Nyad's going over there, so I'm going to go over here. Which... Oh, well, apparently Lawyer was... You're on your own. Okay, that was kind of rude of me to say, but... Um... Okay, I'm, I'm just trying to drive home the point to, like, not go rescue, please. Ow. What did you... Ow. Like... <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know, that match, that was... Eh, I'll give these people a like, but, like, I'm not very too enthused, per se, with their behavior. I'm just saying. Alright, rewards for first one of the day. Okay. I'm gonna exit post-match chat, because I don't got no time for that shit. All right, I got all the weekend quest rewards, which normally I actually don't get to because the thing is, like, I don't want to do four matches, but also sometimes I just can't seem to get the two victories, so, um, 
Yeah, guys, if you like this video, though, give me a like and give me a subscriber. Give me a comment because it is four in the morning right now. And uh, yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> yeah, bye, YouTube. <laughs>